Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Island Paradise. I believe this is part 18. So uh, starting out right away, we are at the gifts panel. Um, for those of you that didn't see my update that I put up yesterday, um, the reason videos have been really scarce is because we were gone for a few days last week uh, doing some traveling. We went to a Lions Club uh, forum conference in um, in Kansas. Uh, we had an amazing time. Uh, got to meet some really, really great people. So that is why um, videos have been scarce. And I wanted to kind of get that little tidbit out before we left, but time got the better of me and so I didn't. Um, but that's why I've been gone. But anyway, we're back and we're back in the old Sims world and all that good stuff. So, <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and get on with the gifts here. We'll go ahead and start from top to bottom here. So first of all, we have a surprise gift box from Plaza Girl 10115. Miss you so much and very happy to have you back. Welcome back and happy simming. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, it's, it's really great to be back. I mean, I had an awesome time, but... I'll tell you, um, I miss my simmies. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I really did. So, yeah. All right. Let's see what we have here. We have a, uh, we have a phot photon master, uh, looks like a lamp, a photon master, uh, 3000 tabletop edition. All right. So I, I can send you something back because I have not gone through my five today and let's see what we can send back to you. How about, a, how about a surprise gift box for you? <clears throat> We're going to say it's great to be back, and I sure missed you guys and my Sims. Thanks for the lamp, and hope you enjoy this. All right. So there is something for you. Next we have... We have Cooley9876 or Cool9876. Uh, love your LP. Well, thank you so much. And we're getting a supernatural elixir. And we have a vial of bliss. All right. So we're going to send you something back. How about we send you back a... We could actually send you back a supernatural because um, you send us one back. So let's go ahead and send you this. We're going to say thanks for the vial of bliss and for the great compliment about my LPs. Hope your Sims find this elixir useful. All right. There's something for you. Okay, next we have Trish. 5058 says, hey there, hope this is something great. All right, well, let's see what we have. Uh, she's um, Winter Frost from YouTube, so she's always leaving me a, a, a comment. We have a care package, and we have the mobile radio station. All right, very nice. Very, very nice. That came with University Life. Um, I kind of enjoyed playing with that. I, I really do. Um, <laughs> it's a lot of fun, and when you get your handiness skill up high enough, you can you can do some better tuning and stuff. So I may have Adrian do some blasting like on from her houseboat. So yeah. All right, let's go ahead and send you back a surprise gift box, and we're gonna say thanks for the mobile radio station for Adrian. I, sh I should have said who this stuff was for, like in the other gifts, so I do apologize. Um, these gifts are going to be from Adrian um, in Island Paradise. Hope this is great for you and your Sims. Enjoy. I got my nails done, and they're kind of long enough that it's a little, that I'm not used to typing with such long nails like on my keyboard so yeah it gets a little um it, it takes a little bit of getting used to but yeah um i like how they're done they're they're a pretty sparkly red color so yeah anyway um wombat 19521 says i hope you like the gift for your sims well i'm sure i will and we're getting a care package all right we have a street art kit so very nice and again that came with um university life and i think we can send something back Yes, we can. We're going to go ahead and send back you a surprise gift box. 
we're going to say thanks for the street art kit for Adrian in Island Paradise. Hope this is great for you and your Sims. Enjoy! All right. Next we have What's Her Name 82 and we have a care package with the message from the game. All right, so it looks like we have some money, a 250 simoleons, a fight song flag, a sh shrunked or schlunked, is that a cola, I think, and a candy bar. Yep. All right. So we can send you this back. All this came with University Life. And I think we'll send you back a care package because we can. So how about we send you back some luxury? Thanks for the cola, candy bar, flag, and the 250 simoleons for Adrian in Island Paradise. Hope you find this useful, useful for your sims. Enjoy. All right. Very, very nice. Something for you. And from Pinky Posh, and we're getting a surprise gift box with the message from the game. I would die laughing if it was a car. Adrian really needs a car. <laughs> uh, well, not a car, but we have a... Um, we have a ring of posies, so we have a little plant. Okay, very nice. And I can't send anything back. I've gone through my five today, so that's that. That's that's that. Tiny78 says, hope it's what hope it's what you want or need. Enjoy. All right. Surprise gift box. Well, 1,250 simoleons. I'd say that's uh, pretty doggone useful there. From Unicorn Fan 85 uh, have fun and enjoy. You know what? I love unicorns too. I used to collect them when I was a little kid and I still love like movies and stories with unicorns and stuff in them. Love them, love them, love them. Absolutely love them. All right. So we have another 300 simoleons. So very, very nice. And with all the jackpots and stuff we want at the casino, that's going to come in handy here. Um, Blue Redo says, uh, just because. Well, thank you so much. And it's a care package. And we have another 500 simoleons, so very, very nice. We're raking in some cash from M. Hel M Heller. Very nice. Uh, love your YouTube. Well, thank you so much. I think this is the first time I've seen a gift from you, so thank you so very, very much. And we have a care package. We have another street art kit, so very, very cool. All right, so from What's Her Name 82, and we're getting another care package. And we have a laptop computer. Very nice. From What's Her Name 82. And we're getting a care package. And it looks like we have a coffee table. Very cool. Uh, Psycho Kitty 187 says, Hope this is something good. Hope all is well. Since I haven't uh, seen you upload much lately. Yep, that was because we were gone. But everything's good. Um, thanks so much for your concern. And... But, yep, we're all fine. We're all back, and everything's good, and we're back in the Sims world. So thank you so much. All right, so let's see what we have. Well, we have a rendezvous picnic table. Okay, very cool. We're going to have to move into a bigger house soon, <laughs> or a bigger houseboat or something here. Wombat19521 says, I hope you like the gift. All right, I'm sure I will. Care package, and we have a whiteboard. All right, very cool. Wombat, okay, from the same person. Hope it's good. Care package. And we have a hundred simoleons. We have a we have a a bookshelf, wall shelf looks like a, a cola and a candy bar. Okay, very cool. And I cannot send anything back. So thank you for all that good stuff. That I'd say that's a pretty nice care package. What's her name? Eighty two says thought you might be able to use a little. Okay, that's from the game um, care package. And we have another street art kit. <laughs> All right, we can save some of them for the kids and stuff. All right, so from Play Bunny 26 says, I thought you might be able to use a little pick-me-up. All right, and it's a surprise gift box. And 
<laughs> we have a pink flamingo. All right. <laughs> it's been a while since I got one of those darn flamingos, but that's okay. All right. So from uh, P. Daniel or P. Daniel, and it's a care package. And we have a um, sketchbook. All right. That came with University Life from What's Her Name 82, and it's a care package. And we have a, what is this? Uh, the Perfect Sim. All right. So that's a little sculpture. And we have a few more to get through. What are, what's her name? 82. Care package here. And we have a rubber ducky. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Gotta love those rubber duckies. What's her name? 82. And we're getting another care package. All right. So we have a bed. Yeah. We have a double bed. Very nice. And I think that's a pretty good bed, too, I gotta say. Uh, from... Guinea Diggs says, uh, thanks for the great LPs. Well, you're so welcome. And we have a surprise gift box. And we have a portable fire pit. Okay, very nice. So from Trish5058 says, a gift from my Sim Lily in Moonlight Falls. Enjoy. And we're getting a, a supernatural elixir. So we are getting Jar of Friendship. Very cool. Uh, Simmerfreak44 says, uh, please can you bring back Jessica O'Keefe? I really miss seeing her and late night LP this is for this is for midnight hollow all right so we're going to save this gift for my midnight hollow LP and as we speak I am uploading late night right now so you'll be treated to an episode of that but we'll go ahead and save that for for midnight hollow since I will be doing an LP on that all right so from simmer freak 44 says lol what what should I do is I cannot um I, I cannot contain my excitement for into the future there's so much amazing stuff this is for Adrian. All right, so we have a supernatural elixir for Adrian. And we have a vial of enlightenment. Okay, very, very nice. So that will give us some skills as she sleeps. Simmerfreak44 says, uh, I apologize if you have been getting gifts every day. It's because I want them to go through to you and not, not a month later. Oh, no problem. You know what? I never turned down gifts and there's no need to apologize for that. You know, hey, we can use it. So we're getting a surprise gift box, and we have a, um, a tabletop phone. All right. I wish I could send you something back, but I've gone through my five, so I'll have to send you something when I can. All right, so from uh, Thuda Dragon says, uh, just a little present for you. I uh, Let's see. Um, have fun, and thanks for all your wonderful videos. Well, thank you so much, and I think this is the first time I've seen a gift from you. It's a surprise gift box, and we have, uh, we have a barbecue. All right, so we can do some cooking outside. So from um, C. Martin uh, 0056, and we're getting a surprise gift box. And we have a fern. We have the fern. <laughs> uh, Mrs. Till says, absolutely love you and your videos. Uh, lots of love. Uh, lot, lots of love. XX some sugar. All right. Yeah, I remember you from YouTube. Yeah, you, you always leave me some comments. So thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And we have gotten, well, 1,250 simoleons. Very nice. Very awesome. What's her name? 82. And we're getting a surprise gift box. And we have, uh, we have a treadmill. Very cool. From uh, Pearl's Jana says, enjoy. And it's a supernatural elixir. So let's see what we're going to get here. We have uh, the Midas Touch. All right, we have two Midas Touches. Very cool. So we have one gift that we're going to save for Midnight Hollow. And um, Adrian is going to be getting up kind of soon here. Uh, we should actually check for her. I think we got her resort funds. So uh, let's see what she's going to need to do here um, while we're looking. Um, today is actually Tuesday. And uh, she does not work today which is awesome. We can try to go diving and find that squid. She is hungry. And we'll go ahead and get her in for some hydration, use the all-in-one bathroom. And then we'll go ahead and have her eat some kelp when she gets up. Try to look for our kelp. And we could have her play with the dragons and then she won't need, um, she wouldn't need the, the, uh, the kelp. She's got a goldfish. <laughs> she could eat the goldfish. Uh, eat the goldfish. Um, but yeah, let's look for her kelp. 
because that seems to that seems to do the trick for her with with that um, Okay, here is her kelp, and she's got like 69 left. We need to pay the bills and stuff here, so we're going to go ahead and eat kelp. We'll go ahead and do that, and then we're going to have to get the, the mail, I guess, here. So, uh, oops. Yep, so we'll go ahead and uh, pay the bills for 100 and something, and then we'll get the mail, and then we'll have you eat another piece of kelp. All right, so her wishes now, um, she's got, okay, so she wants to, uh, she wants to take a class in the science skill. I guess we could do that, you know, we could have her play with the science and then, and then have her take a class, I guess so. Reach level 10 of lifeguard career. Uh, own a five-star resort. We could actually go and do some upgrading on this, on this resort stuff, so use a pool slide slide on a pool slide and take a class in the science skill we could we could uh we could do some of that stuff but um let's go ahead and look at the reviews for her resorts and i'm going to put this on pause so that i can see what i'm doing here okay so we're we're going to end up getting we're back here we're get, we're going to end up getting three thousand simoleons for real estate so that's pretty cool um i guess from all of our partner stuff uh but uh yeah, um, so here is here are the reviews for um, Adrian's Paradise, and um, zero days ago, looks like we've almost got four stars. We got four and a half. Uh, we were really happy with the cleanliness of the pool area. The best part of my stay was spending uh, some quality time in the hot tub with my family and friends, and I recommend the seafood option they have at the dinner uh, buffet. And we have another one with a five-star rating. Uh, if this resort review was based solely on the pool area, it would easily get uh, five stars in my book. When I vacation, I just want things to be easy, no running around for a while. Uh, this place gives you everything you need in one spot. Um, make sure you hit the food stand for some truly, for some truly excellent eating. And then. Uh, <laughs> Here's something. They say roaches can survive any catastrophe. Well, I guess this unkempt resort will always have plenty of six-legged guests. I don't know how to get out of that. Like, you know, because, I mean, we got the maintenance crew to clean things up, and I don't know if there's a way to, you know, if it's got roaches or something. Uh, so you guys tell me, like, if you found out, or, you know, if you found out, if you get that kind of review, and, you, and if you find roaches or something, you know, um, I guess you spray for them, I suppose. I don't know. But anyway, you guys, you guys tell me. Um, so we have another four and a half, but it, it got a five star review. So it's kind of crazy. Um, four and a half, uh, for one day ago, um, I burned my feet at the, on the firewalk pit. If I had to do it again, I wouldn't change a thing. Uh, this resort offers fair amenities for the price. And I'm so glad that this resort offers vegetarian food options. Okay. So this, that's the, there's really nothing that we can do for that resort. Uh, let's go ahead and go back to her Island place here and, I think we can do some upgrading there. So they're not complaining about the, the trees or anything anymore. So let's go find her island um, resort and we'll see if we can upgrade that a little bit because we have money to do that. So we are going to do that. Okay, guys, so here's the reviews for Adrian's uh, Island, um, uh, Adrian's, Adrian's Island Sanctuary, if I can talk today. Uh, and we're still sitting at a three-star resort because we, we have some major upgrading to do. So anyway, uh, great quality, cheap prices, happy customer. Uh, wow, I've heard of Roach Motels, but this place seems, uh, this place earns that title. They're everywhere. And again, got the roaches thing. Um, how do you get rid of that? Okay. Uh, I liked how the pool bar was never crowded. And uh, this place is the best. Uh, they even have a food stand set up right there at uh, the resort. And it is the perfect place to hit when you're feeling snacky uh who has two thumbs and loves the large pool of in this resort this girl wow a pool bar i've only seen these things on tv uh nice resort but it can definitely use some landscaping um 
So they want a firewalk pit and they're still wanting a gym and a hot tub. So we're I'm going to go and I'm I'm going to go down and I'm going to do a little bit of upgrading to this place. So um I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera and then I will show you what I did when I am done. Okay guys, so here we are again. Now let me just show you what I did. Uh, I put in this gym. It was one of the blueprints. It was the cheapest gym blueprint that I could find. It's the beach uh, gym that was six grand or whatever the heck it was. And then I put in this hot tub, which was another, I want to say six grand or something. And then I added um, some palm trees over here, you know, just kind of put them in some random places. Added some flowers and stuff um, over here at the front of the, the lobby. Uh, red poppies which i don't know that you would actually find on an island and then i put some bird of paradise over here so yeah um i did a little bit of landscaping we're gonna see what they say and i'll be right back i'm gonna see what the dogs are barking at okay guys sorry about that so that that is my upgrades for this resort for the time being is and as you can see we are back down to like um 20 2300 and something simoleons so um we had like 25 grand and I, I spent quite a lot um, doing doing the upgrade for this resort. And oh, and I also put in a firewalk pit right in front of the gym right there because that's something that they wanted. So I think I've accomplished some of the things that they wanted. So we're going to see what they have to say. And um, I do believe that we have other funds that we need to collect. Now, Adrian is going to be getting up here. Um, so what I want to do is I want to go ahead and um, check real estate here. And uh, I don't want to travel, but... Uh, I want to, I want to go ahead and check real estate when she gets up. So we're going to go ahead and, and just let her get up. Um, yep. So, yep. That just kind of gave us our, that was the sound that gave us our money for, um, for our resort stuff. So, but yeah, we're back down to the, the two grand uh, because we actually did the um, upgrades. So anyway, we're going to speed through you while she gets up here. We're going to wait for her to get up. All right, she's just about to get up, I think. And we'll just have her eat the two pieces of kelp because I think that should fill her up pretty good. Come on, Adrian. Up and at him. Come on, Adrian. Oh, okay. So here we go. Now she's getting up. All right. So she's going to go ahead and make the bed. And then uh, we've got all this stuff programmed for her here. Um, she's going to get her hydration going. Now, um, I am still doing the Create a Sim contest. So, um... A potential husband for Adrian will be coming up in that. So not to worry about that. But um, I've just been so, so, so super duper busy that it's been just really difficult to... It's been really difficult to um, get some of this done because I've been so busy. I thought I was hearing noises. Never mind. I paused that for a minute. I thought I was hearing something funny, but nope, that was my hard drive going off. So. Alright, so we're paying the bills. And it says, uh... Okay, it's the Institute Adrian's uh, al alchem achievement. Uh, congratulates you, Adrian Spencer, for achieving uh, the highest level of excellence in your athletic under uh, okay so yeah that's right she got her highest in athletic because we did the tab cast for we actually did the tab cast for uh <laughs> yeah we actually did the uh, tab cast thing for um her athletic now you purchase properties oh you own properties we don't want to do that so we could Okay, collect simoleons. All right. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and collect our simoleons. She's a full owner of the spa. All right, so we're going to collect our simoleons. Um, we've collected simoleons for that. And we've collected simoleons for that. All right, so we've got... Um, we've got... It looks like we've got our... Uh, money. Collected. 
So we'll see what we're going to get for that. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get out of get out of this here. All right. All right, I'm going to see what they're barking at again. Just a minute, guys. Okay, guys, we're back. Yeah, I got a <laughs> I got a package. So it seems like every time I get to recording, something happens. But you know what we're going to do is we're going to get Adrian hardly hungry because she is always getting hungry. I gave her two pieces of kelp and she's still hungry. So we're, we're going to go with this hardly hungry. Enough of that crap. <laughs> I kid you not. But we're gonna go ahead and, and we're gonna go ahead and let her have another piece of kelp, and then that should uh, that should do us pretty good. So, either another piece of kelp or another fish or something like that. So, yep, we have this kelp here. Um, Adrian just eat this kelp. Just look at that hunger bar. There we go. There we go. Now we're full. Now we're full. And we need some social. Um, we actually do need some social. So, but what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to see if we can go diving and try to find our squid because we really, really, really do got to find our, our squid because this is getting a little ridiculous. Um, we could actually go to the resort maybe and uh, see if we can, um, see if maybe we can um, talk to our desk clerk or something here. Um, here's the mermaid grotto. All right. So we were at Rocky Reef. We, we weren't exactly at Rocky Reef, but our houseboat is right there at Rocky Reef. So we are going to go back over here, and then I think we're going to go ahead and visit this dive spot. Yep, Rocky Reef. Let's go ahead and uh, dive underwater. And we're going to see if we can get the squid and deliver it. And this will get her hydration up to full, so that'll be a good thing. Go ahead, Adrian. There you go. All right. All right. Now, let's see what we're going to get here. I'm just going to look around really quickly like... Uh. All right, Adrian, I think we have this to catch. Let's go ahead and get this one. All right, um, well, we got a lobster. Doggone it, we need a squid. I mean, really, really, we need a squid. Uh, go ahead and catch this one. All right. Okay, uh... Well, if we can't find our squid, uh, let's see what she's going to, I guess she's going to go and view something. Let's see what else that we're, let's see what else that we can get over here. I'm really having a hard time finding a squid, guys. I may have to exit out of that um, opportunity. Really, really may have to exit out of that opportunity. Um, let's go ahead and catch this one. Here's a, a fish. Okay. Oh, she caught a shark. She caught a shark worth 37 simoleons. Um, we need to get, we need to have a, a fight with a shark or something too. Let's see. Okay. Tell you what guys, we're going to have her just, um, wait. Yeah. We're just going to have her go back to the surface, I think. And then we're going to go to the mermaid grotto and see if we can find that underwater cave to explore because I'm not finding our squid right now. So what we're going to go ahead and do is uh, let's go ahead and find our mermaid grotto um, because we tried to explore an underwater cave and, it, and, and I think there was a glitch and it shot us out of the, it shot us off of the, the thing and put us somewhere else. So yeah, um, okay, there's Rocky Reef. Okay, so let's go ahead over here to, um, let's go ahead and um, go to the Mermaid Grotto and we're going to dive underwater. <laughs> okay, so she's going to go ahead and swim it. And she's going to need some social here, so we're really going to have to talk to someone. All right. 
Come on, Adrian. Oh, and it's raining. Holy crappers. Oh! Oh, God. All right. Let's see how far away she is from it. Okay, she's almost there. I think. Oops. All right. And I've got that on speed two right now. All right, Adrian, how far away are you from it? You know, I think I'm going to have her just boat there. Adrian, how about we just go ahead and boat here? Yep, quit swimming and then we'll and then we'll dive under the water here. They'll get you there faster and I know you like to swim and all, but, you know, Now, here is our dive spot. She's pretty close to it, so we're going to go ahead and um, dive underwater here. Come on, Adrian. Okay, here we go. Now, let's see what we're going to get under here. I think there's stuff under here to catch as well. Uh, so I'm just going to take a look around here and see what we got. Now, I, I do know that we do have that underwater cave that, um, that we need to explore. And I think that'll give us another island. Okay, guys, so here is the underwater cave. We're going to go ahead and have her explore this. And we're going to see what we get. All right, Adrian, let's see what we got here. And it shot us back out. Where the heck are we? Yeah, it shot us back out of... Yeah, I'm not sure if... if uh, I am really not sure if... Um, if it's supposed to do that or if that's a glitch or whatever but yeah but we have no business out on a thunderstorm so adrian i'll tell you what we're gonna do um let's go ahead on um let's check her little moodlets here um having a blast uh well rested squeaky clean feeling lucky and getting chilly all right adrian we are gonna go ahead back onto home um because today is not the day to be doing a, a water slide. All right. Because it is, uh, it's spring, so we could actually go to the spring festival, but today is not a great day to, to learn to do that. Uh, reach level. Uh, you know, I'm going to take off the class and we're going to learn guitar skill. Catch 20 fish while diving. Yep. Now, I could actually buy her a guitar because I think we got money to do that. Oh! We could have her learn some handiness skill and then we could... Oh, we got a full moon. Uh, we could have her learn some handiness skill and then... Uh, yeah, we could have her learn some handiness skill and then she can up, she can upgrade this, this houseboat. Uh, but yeah, she is like really getting chilly. <laughs> yep, getting chilly. Um, the air feels... Uh, the air feels a bit of a bite to it. The air the air has a bit of a bite to it. Adrian is starting to feel the first uh, 
starting to feel the first uh, tickles of chill across her skin. All right, so what we're going to do, because I don't think I have a guitar for her just yet. Um, so let's see. Uh, oh, yeah, we do have a guitar for her. Well, I'll tell you what, we're going to play. We need to play an online social game. That way we can get her social up. That way she'll want to have do that so that she'll want to. Yeah. Um, okay, play online social game. Uh, we're going to have her do that so that she can get her social up. That way she'll want to keep having, um, keep wanting to do the, the guitar here. And she's starting to get a little tired, but, yep. Yeah. So today's not really the, the best day to, today's not really the best day to be doing, uh, going to a resort and sliding on a pool slide. Um, Adrian? Um... Well, you don't want to play that too well. Let's go ahead and listen to a tabcast. We can have you listen to... Let's go ahead and have you listen to some handiness. Yep, yeah, you go ahead and listen to another handiness skill, and then we need to go ahead and chat with someone here. Um, we, yeah, we could we could have you do some writing as well, but uh, let's chat with someone because we got to get that social up. Because you are not in the best of moods. I mean, you are, but you're in a pretty good mood, but your social just needs to, to climb a bit. Because you're getting a little, your bar is about like half down. So we'll let that rise. I don't know, I, you know, usually she can play on that tablet. Yeah, usually she can play on that tablet and then uh, that social goes up. Go ahead and let her do this for a time and while well, she's listening to her handiness. Well, I don't know what that was about. She could upgrade the computer too. That social just is not going real fast. Well, uh, we have so much in common. Um, like to get to know you better. Okay. But we got a, we got a sim that, uh, we're going to use for her husband and, hu boyfriend and husband and stuff. Simply because, uh, simply because, um, that's why we did our create a sim contest. Alright, so the social is coming up. That's good. Adrian! What a way to... You're going to break the computer. Keep doing that. So her social is doing good. Alright. Um, Adrian learned that... Uh, oh, stop. Sean is single. Alright. Tell you what, Adrian, why don't we go ahead and do some writing? You go ahead and continue writing um, Isle of Mermaids. Now that your social is up, we're going to continue with that. And I guess she's still listening to her tabcast. She's feeling lucky. Uh, she's comfy. Ignore the call. You know, I think we're going to exit out of this opportunity for the squid because I'm not finding it. Uh, one of two squid. We're going to exit out of that. Fight a shark. We're going to... Hopefully we'll be able to get some more opportunities and stuff. We'll have to... Uh, we'll, have to we'll have to go and check for an adventure or something and see if we can find an island to discover. Now she's still listening to her mm. tabcast. No, mm, she's not listening to a tabcast.
And I told you to do some handiness. Didn't I? Of course, we could do guitar, but we need to play it, you know. Okay, so Adrian uh, submitted a few chapters of Isle of Mermaids uh, and received 14 simoleons. I'm going to stop her here for just a minute, and we're going to let her do her tab cast, and then we're going to continue. There we go. There we go. Because I think she's... Well, she doesn't quite have the book done, but she'll get it. And she is having a blast yet. Um, it's decorated, squeaky clean, comfy, and listening to Tabcast for five hours. All right. Yeah, I think it. I think it said five hours. Yep, five hours. Starting to get a little tired, but we're we're gonna do pretty good. She's still gotta. She she can still. She can still do this. I want to fulfill some of her wishes. That way we can um, get her some more lifetime mm -hmm. happiness things. Because I do believe that there is something for mermaids where... Yeah, I think there is actually something that mermaids can get, which would be cool. So, But at least we got her hardly hungry, so she doesn't have to keep eating all the time. So she's going to be done with her book kind of soon if we can keep this the momentum going here. But she's getting tired. Mm. She's starting to get kind of tired. So we're going to we're going to let her keep going for a little while. Mm. Get her a little bit more money. Okay, so she got uh, she got 14 bucks for submitting a few chapters. Hopefully this book will go better um, than her first one did because her first one was kind of a flop. So, yeah. Okay, Adrian. Then we'll put her in the all-in-one bathroom to get her hydration up just a little bit. And then we'll send her to bed. Of course, we could have her play with the dragons and... Hmm. And she should be okay. In fact, we just might. That way we can kind of keep her up and she won't have to sleep. <laughs> and it is raining some more. My goodness. All right. So we got uh, another 14 bucks for submitting a few chapters. Put that on speed two. So she's almost done. Hmm. She's getting tired. See the bed sign over her head? The bed thought bubble. But I'd like her to get done with this book. That way we can collect the royalties for it. Alright, so we got handiness to level 7. Very nice. Alright, come on, Adrian. You're almost done. Then I think we're going to play with some dragons. Now, is it the red dragon, I think, that... Uh, we're going to go ahead and feed Ruby. We'll go ahead and... Uh... Ah, 
And then we're going to go ahead and talk to Ruby about um, athletic, because she, she doesn't really need to gain any athletic skill. Um, we'll play with Ruby. Yep. Uh... All right, so uh, Adrian's newest science fiction uh, saga, Isle of the Mermaids, uh, excitement of a blockbuster uh, summer movie. Okay, so um, this is going to be good. So, all right, so she's going to receive six royalty payments of 91 simoleons. Well, that's not, that's, it, it could be worse. Yep, go ahead and go ahead and go ahead and play with her and feed her. Yep. Okay, there we go. That energy is popping up. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and play with her again. Oh, she's on her shoulder. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and uh, play with her again. And then we'll play with her again until that energy comes up full. So play with her. Play with her and then we'll go ahead and uh, put put her back in the inventory. Alright, so her energy is full. Very good. You go ahead and use the all-in-one bathroom. Make sure she's back in the inventory where she belongs. Yep, very good. All right, Adrian. All right, your hydration is okay. Uh, let's come back up here and let's see if we can tinker with this with this helm. You wanted to learn guitar skill. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to listen to this, this tab cast. And... That way we can... Um, that way we can get one wish um, satisfied here. Okay, so let's go ahead and learn guitar skill, and then we're going to come up here and we're going to mess with this, mess with the helm. Okay, let's see if we can do an upgrade. Uh, upgrade to autopilot. So if we upgrade it to autopilot, she's already got the fast speed on it, I believe. So, oh, I hope we're not going to get shocked up here. I really do. This is awful. She's got her hydration done, though, which is good, so... Not really the smartest thing to do when you're. Not really the smartest thing to do in a thunderstorm, I guess. You know, let's let's do this another night because I, I just don't trust the the thunderstorm here. I really don't. I I just I don't trust the the thunderstorm. Uh, let's go ahead and read some of our recipes, I guess. Um, as long as we're up, I just don't trust the thunderstorm, and I don't want her to die because that would. That would totally, uh, that would totally, uh, and her cooking skills aren't high enough to do this. That would totally, um, screw us up. <laughs> it really would. Adrian, come down here and read Firecracker Shrimp. And then we can read Cobbler. We need the storm to, uh, there we go, go back downstairs and we'll finish upgrading later. Because we totally need the storm to, 
to go away before we do anything else. We could write another book too, but we'll have her read a couple of recipes and stuff. Don't want to scoot here. Uh, collect resort funds uh, for thousand fifty and for five hundred four thousand simoleons. All right. We should go back and see what the resort reviews have to say. So we're getting a little bit more money, which is good. All right, we have a guitar skill. That's got one wish done. Still wants to slide on a pool slide and own a five-star resort and reach level. She learned firecracker shrimp. She still wants to reach level 10 of the lifeguard career. Okay, so the spring festival. Uh, flowers aren't the only thing uh, blooming. Love is in the air at the spring festival. Pulls into town. Hurry on over the uh, annual egg hunt has already begun. Uh, take a turn at the kissing booth or mu music uh, or muster the courage um, to man it yourself for tips. Pair it up on the dance floor or turn out the tur turn tune out the world uh, around you for an uh, intimate slow dance with that special someone. Uh, the choice is yours. Uh, will anyone go home from the romantic outing all by their lonesomes? The love, the love tester surely knows. Cool. Okay. You know, we, we should, uh, oh my gosh, you know what we should do is, um, if we ever get the, if we ever get the, uh, lifetime happiness to get a, get her a climate, Climatron control unit, that would be good. Alright. What else can we read? Read Firecracker Tofu. Read the curry. All right. Okay, so she just learned cobbler. Very good. Okay, perform job. All right, we'll have to read that recipe later. Alright, Adrian, how much? Yep, there we go. Alright. Alright, uh, we're going to have to boat here, I guess. Uh, go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and boat here. Alright, so Adrian. Gonna go ahead and uh, now let's see where we gotta go to work here. 
Adrian, we're going to go ahead and uh, survey the beach. Go ahead and turn it around. All right. in the taxi here. This is very pretty landscape though, I gotta say. So need to get her a car. You know, when Moonlight, when Midnight Hollow comes out tomorrow, I think, I think we're gonna find Adrian a business to do. I mean, I know she's got a resorts and stuff, but we might as well try to run a business because she's an owner of several, uh, properties anyway and we might as well uh, you know try to make a little bit more money all right now, I don't know if anybody well it's not raining anymore really so we'll just keep an eye on what she's supposed to do here see if anybody's gonna be in trouble out in the water Oh, there's a mermaid right there. Look at that. This is, uh, okay, it's not telling me who they are. Oh, it's uh, Maya, Maya Ocean uh, Mixologist. Oh. Maya, I guess you're swimming to work, aren't you? All right. All right, let's see if we can find someone in trouble. Oh, oh, yep, we got to we got to go give this person CPR. All right. Uh, give CPR. Uh, I appreciate Sims who take the time, blah, 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 blah. Adrian just learned how to make firecracker tofu. Yep. Okay, so we don't need to do that twice. What is this thing here? Oh, that's a fire pit. That's cool. All right, so we got a little bit of money. Uh, I don't know what I just uh, happened, but I know blah, 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 blah. All right, Adrian, um, your social is doing pretty good, though. Um, we can just kind of maybe talk to this person just a little bit. Um, let's do some funny show internet cats video. Uh, show funny video. And that'll kind of give us a, a relationship, huh? We'll have to see who else is going to be in trouble here. Yeah, this person is uh, Ian, uh, Ian M Melman, I guess. We'll keep doing this for a little bit. Um, funny. <laughs> funny story. Uh, show funny video. <laughs> show internet cats video. Show gross video. Okay. Can we throw a friendship elixir at him? I bet we can. Then we can, um... Yeah, let's let's go ahead and throw a friendship elixir at him, and then we can um, then we can have him as a friend, and then we can do some more charisma. Yep, jar of friendship. Um, we have counts of two, so we're gonna go ahead and throw elixir at Sim, and we're gonna go ahead and do it at um, Ian.
Ian Norman. All right. Then we'll survey the beach again. Throw the elixir. Go ahead. Throw it. Yep. All right. There we go. So we have a we have a friend. Blah blah blah. All right. So that's good. Um, we'll go ahead and have her eat some kelp because she's starting to get a little hungry again. All right, Adrian. Go ahead and eat this kelp. And then we can survey the beach again here. Actually, actually, before you do that, we'll eat the kelp. And then we'll listen to some charisma. And then that will get um, that will help with our career charisma. And then we'll go ahead and survey the beach. Okay. Go ahead and. Uh, All right, we need to survey the beach. Because our shift is not over yet. So Adrian, get up here and we're gonna, we're gonna survey. All right, we'll see if anybody else is going to be in trouble. Oh, after we're done, we could actually go and, uh, oh, purchase property. Okay, that's somebody lying out on the beach. And we could actually go and catch this. Go ahead and uh, collect it. See if anyone's going to be in trouble. She's still surveying. Nothing much to nothing much to do while she's surveying. Oh, let's see. She's got a couple more wishes here. Uh, meet Joel. Jam with Ian. Uh, Learn Ian's sign. Squeaky clean, a new friend, and having a blast. Okay. So we're almost done with our shift. It looks like. Oh, is somebody going to be in trouble? Yep, we're going to go ahead and rescue this person. Alright. Is somebody else in trouble? Yeah, I think they're okay. All right. 
Adrian, I think we're done with our shift. Oh. Go ahead and uh, give him the CPR. Okay, actually, yeah, we don't need to do that twice. Uh, pillow fight. Uh, sing karaoke with Ian. Yeah. All right. Okay. I don't think uh, I'd have survived if it wasn't for you. All right, so we've got that collected. Very nice. All right, so we've got a tiny, a tiny space rock. It's valued at 22 simoleons. Okay. Now, um, I think what we're going to do is we can actually go ahead and back on home. We can upgrade our boat. Ah. Let's see how much longer she has. So she's at level, she's at level 8. She wants to get to level 10. Mm. Alright. So I have to listen to some more charisma. Listen to Tabcast and, uh... Come on. Go ahead and do some more charisma. Then we can upgrade our boat, I think. Because it's not raining anymore. Alright, I got the sun speed 3 till she gets home. Alright, here we go. Go ahead and turn that on. Now, we're going to go ahead and come up here and upgrade to autopilot. Okay. Upgrade to autopilot. We got like 11% of it done, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and do some more of it. Oh, lag. <laughs> okay, guys, I think that I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. We've been going at it for a little bit. So uh, we're just going to go ahead and let her work on this uh, autopilot thing. And in the next part, we'll just continue right where we left off. Um, we'll probably have her play with with uh, Ruby a little bit more and get that energy up. And we'll do a little something else. So anyway, guys, uh, you have a fantastic day. Favorite and like this video. Subscribe to see more of the series. Plus, you know the other series I do that you are interested in. Oh, holy cow, look at the sailboat. Uh, subscribe to see more of the series posting to the others I do that you're interested in. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Hit the heck out of that like button. Really, really do appreciate those likes. Give it a big thumbs up. Uh, you guys have a fantastic day, and we'll talk to you guys later. Okay, bye, guys.